Hello, my name is Verla Haverals and I work for the University of Antwerp, Belgium. This ILSA project video will give an overview on how to customize the speech recognition software. In the previous video lecture, we explored the importance of and how to create vocabulary lists in different languages. In this video, we will look at the next steps of customizing the vocabulary in the speech recognition software. We will look at training words and creating macros for short forms, speaker identification and sound labels. Interpreters can prepare for a simultaneous interpreting task by researching the topic and preparing vocabulary in multiple languages. However, interlingual speakers have the extra task of training the speech recognition software with words. It is important to check that the vocabulary you have prepared already exists in the dictionary of the speech recognition software. If the vocabulary is not in the dictionary, because it could be a name of a person, a place or an organization, you need to add that word to the dictionary and train the speech recognition software to recognize it. Then check again to see if the word is now recognized by the speech recognition software. Aside from training words, custom commands can also be prepared for short forms, speaker identification and sound labels. In this video, you will see how a re-speaker can train the speech recognition software with words. Let's take a look. This short video will show you how to train words in Dragon. First, go to the Dragon bar, Vocabulary, add new word or phrase. Type in the word that you want to train and click on Add. Then, when you're ready, click on Go and dictate the word. Brexit. Now that word has been added to the dictionary. It's always best to check that training the word has actually worked, so do test it in Dragonpad or in a Word document like this. Brexit. 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 When you see that the word is recognized well, you can start to use it when re-speaking. For names, include both the first name and last name separately in your glossary and add it as a whole as you saw it in the video. In this particular example, the re-speaker was using the speech recognition software Dragon Naturally Speaking. If you find that the software doesn't render a name or a term correctly, you will have to find a way to help the system. All re-speakers develop their own system and have their own preferences. Choices can also depend on the language you re-speak into. Some re-speakers will barely use their keyboard. Others will use it quite often. One way of helping the software is to use the keyboard to create short forms. When you choose to work with short forms, you will type a short version of the word that you'd like to see appear, to see appear on the screen. Many subtitling programs allow you to create a list of short forms. For example, if you have prepared a list of short forms, and your list contains the abbreviation FH linked to the name François Hollande, then the name of François Hollande will appear whenever you type FH and then press the spacebar. There is also a way to create short forms with your voice by making custom comments in the speech recognition software. One way of doing this is to use the macro method, which means adding either docs, macro or mac before or after the spoken form or a word. The sound used can vary between languages, as blah and zack can also be used. Using a docs 
or macro method means that you can teach a speech recognition software to display a name such as François Hollande each time you dictate Tox Holland, Holland Macro or Mac Holland. Here is a video that demonstrates how to create a custom comment for the name Michel Obama. This short video will show you how to create a custom command in Dragon. First, go to the Dragon Bar, Vocabulary, add new word or phrase. Type the written form of the word that you would like to add and the spoken form and click on Add. Then click on Go and dictate the spoken form. Macabama. Now the word has been added to the dictionary. It's always best to check that your custom command works, so do test it in Dragonpad or a Word document like this. Macabama. Each time the re-speaker dictates Mac Obama, the name Michelle Obama will appear correctly. So when you see that the custom command is recognised well, you can start to use the word and the command when re-speaking. Custom commands can also be used to shorten the number of words that a re-speaker needs to re-speak. This can be used for songs, film and book titles that a re-speaker knows will come up in the re-speaking task. Let's take a look at an example when we will hear the shortened form that a re-speaker has created for the book title In Search of Lost Time. I would love to read Doc's book by Marcel Proust. Aside from the example that we just saw in the video, custom commands are useful for foreign words that may be misrecognized too. Custom commands can also be used to create speaker tags to identify different speakers. Using this method, method is also a good way to reduce time and effort when you have many panel speakers and to ensure that the names appear correctly. This short video will show you how to create a speaker tag for speaker identification in Dragon. First, go to the Dragon Bar, Vocabulary, add new word or phrase. Type in the written form of the speaker tag that you would like to use, so for the purposes of this we will just use speaker followed by a colon. And then the spoken form, which here we will use Mac Speak, and click on Add. Then click on Go and dictate the word. Mac speak. Now that word has been added to the dictionary. It's useful for a speaker tag to appear on a new line each time you use it. And this is something that can be automated in Dragon. So go to Vocabulary, open Vocabulary Editor and search for Mac speak. Click on the custom command and then click on properties. Here there are many settings that we can use and we would like it to be preceded by a new line. Then click OK. Close the window and it's always best to check that your custom command works. So let's try it here. We are going to test a custom command, Mac speak. So here we can see that each time the re-speaker dictates Mac speak, the speaker tag will appear on a new line. When you see that your speaker tag is recognised in this way, you can start to use it when re-speaking.
custom commands can be used, and more specifically, the macro methods, to create sound labels. It may be useful to create sound labels for these examples that can be used from many different videos and genres for television. Sound labels can be made in the same way as using custom commands for speaker indications. It is good practice to carefully consider, after a speaking session, which short forms and macros will remain useful for a next assignment and which ones are best removed from the speech recognition software. For example, if you have used a macro for the title of a book that was a subject of a presentation, it is best to remove the macro afterwards. That way you can use Toxbook or Toxbook Mac again for a different speaking task. You may also want to create some general macros for sound labels and speaker identifications that you can use in any re-speaking task, such as the examples on the screen.